So to balance this equation, I've written down each type of atom on each side of the chemical equation. Now I'm going to count up the atoms, and then we'll make sure they're the same on each side to have a balanced equation. So for magnesium, I have one. For hydrogens, I have one. And then I have one chlorine atom. On the product side, I have one magnesium here. I have two of the chlorines. And then the hydrogens, I have two of those. So we can see the equation's not balanced. We can only change the numbers in front of these compounds and elements here. Those are called the coefficients. If I put a 2 in front of the HCl, I would have 2 times the 1. That would give me 2 hydrogens on the reactants, and I have 2 hydrogens on the products. Those would be balanced. This 2 also carries over to the chlorine. So 2 times the 1 here, that'll give me 2 chlorines. Now I have 2 chlorines on the reactants, 2 on the products. I have 2 hydrogens, 2 here, 1 magnesium, 1 magnesium, and this equation is balanced. Remember, you can only change the coefficients in front of the atoms. The smaller numbers, the subscripts, cannot be changed. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.